Hey friends, Megan here from the blog Growing Up Herbal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button below and of course, give this video a thumbs up because YouTube likes that and so do I. Now, today's video is a part of my Fall Apothecary series and today I'm going to be walking you through the steps of how I make shelf-stable herbal syrups. Now, most basic herbal syrups are water-based preparations, and that means that they will mold or bacteria will grow in them unless they're stored in the refrigerator. But even when they're stored in the refrigerator, they only have about a three-week shelf life. Now, if you add 50% sugar when you're making your syrup, then you may get about three months shelf life out of your syrup. But the way I make herbal syrups is a method that I learned from herbalist Juliet Blankenspore from the um, Chestnut School of Herbal Medicine in Asheville, North Carolina. And this method combines a couple of different herbal preparations to make your herbal syrup more shelf stable. This way, you take all of the time and energy and work to make a really effective preparation. And instead of lasting three weeks or three months, it'll last about a year. So come along with me and I'll show you exactly how I do it. So the first step I take when making any type of herbal syrup is to head to my herbal apothecary and select the herbs needed in my syrup formula. Now I like to keep the herbs in my apothecary in alphabetical order because this makes locating the herbs I'm looking for a bit easier. You can also use fresh herbs when making herbal syrups as well. Next, I add my herbs to a saucepan to make an herbal decoction. A decoction is a combination of herbs and water that are quickly brought to a boil and then simmered over low heat until the water has reduced by half. This leaves you with a concentrated liquid that will make up one third of your shelf stable herbal syrup. Now let me briefly say a word or two about measuring herbs. You can measure out exact measurements of your herbs or you can be a bit more intuitive and add as much of each herb as you feel is needed. As a beginner herbalist, I remember feeling more confident when following recipes and dosage guidelines set by more experienced herbalists. However, as I've grown in my herbal practice, I tend to let intuition guide me when making herbal preparations these days. So my advice to you is to know where you are in your herbal journey and do what feels right for you at the moment. That may be staying in a comfortable and safe space, or it may be pushing yourself a bit further. While my decoction is simmering on the stove and filling my kitchen with herbal scents, I head off to gather some more supplies, such as a bottle to store my syrup in, a lid, and a label. When my decoction is finished, I strain the mixture through a fine mesh sieve into a glass measuring cup to separate the herbs from the liquid. I like to use the back of a spoon to press on the herbs and get as much liquid out of them as I can. pressed as much liquid as I can out of the herbs, I carefully pour the finished herbal decoction into my storage bottle or jar, filling it one third full. If your bottle has a small opening, it can be really helpful to use a funnel to help guide the liquid. Now, 
Now I'm ready for the next part of my shelf stable herbal syrup, an herbal honey. To make an herbal honey, you simply add the herbs of your choosing to a glass canning jar and cover them with raw honey. Put the lid on and place the honey in a dark warm location for six weeks. This will give the herbs plenty of time to yield their beneficial properties into the honey. Now the easiest way that I've found to strain herbs from sticky honey is to gently and briefly warm the mixture in a saucepan over low heat. This thins the honey, allowing it to pass through a fine mesh sieve more easily. Once my herbal honey is strained, I carefully pour it into my bottle, filling it one third full and combining it with the decoction. Because honey is heavier than water, it will sink to the bottom of the jar, making it easy for you to see how much you've added. Now any leftover honey is stored in another labeled jar and used for other herbal syrups or oxymels, in foods that we eat, or taken as is for any other needs that arise. Now that my herbal honey is in the bottle, it's time for the final part of my shelf stable herbal syrup, an herbal tincture. Herbal tinctures contain alcohol and alcohol acts as a preservative by limiting bacteria and mold growth. When selecting a tincture to use in my syrup, I always try to choose one that will add benefit to my syrup. I also choose a tincture that's made with 75 to 95% alcohol. This ensures my syrup is properly preserved and shelf stable when unrefrigerated. Lower alcohol tinctures, like those with 40 to 50% alcohol contents, when combined with the decoction and honey, may dilute the alcohol in the tincture too much, giving bacteria and mold a chance to grow. Herbalist Juliet Blankenspore says that tinctures with a 75% or higher alcohol content will give your herbal syrup a final alcohol level of 25% or higher, giving it a 1-2 to two year unrefrigerated shelf life. So, simply fill your bottle one-third full of your chosen tincture and voila, your shelf-stable syrup is almost finished. Just cap your bottle and give it a good shake to combine all of the preparations. At this point, I take time to rinse any sticky residue off my bottle and dry it well so that my label will adhere. When labeling my herbal syrups, I like to write the name of the syrup at the top of the label, followed by any dosage information that is specific to the syrup I just made. And lastly, I include a use by date. Like I said earlier, shelf stable herbal syrups can have a shelf life of one to two years, depending on the alcohol content of the tincture you used. Including a use by date on your label will help to remind you that it's time to make a new batch of syrup as the discard date draws near. 
Now, the labels I'm using are from my lovely friends over at the Herbal Academy. You can find these beautiful labels in their good shop, along with many other products that will help you in your herbal education and practice. I'll be sure to include a link to these labels in the description box below. Now that my shelf stable syrup is finished, I lovingly place it in my home apothecary and give thanks to God for the gift of herbs and the knowledge of how to use them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos on natural, simple, seasonal living.